biocomputers based on human brain cells. Scientists working with human brain organoids presented their concepts for developing biocomputers based on nerve cells. Such technology could not only significantly expand the capabilities of modern computers, but also open up new fields of research. Organoids are lab-grown tiny versions of various organs that retain key anatomical features of full-size organs. Such three-dimensional models are an invaluable aid in research where the use of living brains or kidneys is impossible or unethical. Scientists obtain a living organ to test different concepts. This includes testing reactions to medications or observing development in unfavorable conditions. Research on organoids gives scientists the opportunity to thoroughly study the organs and understand the causes of many diseases. Thomas Hartung from Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore and his team have been working with human brain organoids for years. They are mini-brains, about the size of a mustard seed. But with neurons and other features that promise to support basic functions such as learning and memory. Hartung began growing organoids in 2012. Creating them from cells from human skin samples reprogrammed into a state similar to embryonic stem cells. Each such organoid contains about 50,000 different types of cells. Now Hartung, together with colleagues from the University of San Diego and the University of Luxembourg, has come up with the idea of creating a biocomputer that would operate on the basis of human brain organoids. Despite all the technological progress, the biggest competition for processes is still the biological brain. While silicon-based computers are undoubtedly very fast and much better at handling numbers, human brains are still better at learning. For example, an artificial intelligence called AlphaGo, which defeated the best human Go player in 2017 practiced its skills based on data from as many as 160,000 games. If a person were to learn in a similar way and analyze all this data, assuming that he spent five hours a day on it, he would need, only, 175 years to play such a number of games. So why shouldn't we use the potential hidden in our brains? In a recently published paper, scientists suggested the possibility of growing mini-brains in the laboratory, which would then be connected to each other, thus creating an extremely efficient biocomputer. So far, organoids have been used for medical purposes, e.g. in research on microcephaly and diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's diseases. On the other hand, they were taught to play classic computer Pong. There is even a term to distinguish this type of intelligence from human and artificial intelligence, organoid intelligence. Important in the context of their potential use is the fact that they have a similar type of cells that enable the human brain to collect and remember information. It should be emphasized that we are increasingly approaching the point where we will no longer be able to improve our computers any further. It will become simply impossible to cram even more transistors into one chip. And this is where organoids may appear on the scene. It is estimated that the human brain is capable of remembering 2,500 terabytes of information. In addition, neural connections are of a completely different nature than those we observe in computers. However, 
science may encounter a potentially insurmountable barrier here. Ethical. The number of neurons in organoids that were created for research purposes was quite limited. If a biocomputer were to be created from them, it would be necessary to increase their number to even 10 million. And here is the problem, because the question may arise. To what extent would he become aware of his existence?